Okay, I'm working on this series of Easter inspired resin trays going through the rainbow colors and I'm going to do the yellow tones today. First we're going to mix the resin get that going so we can get it <coughs> started on a timer. We're going to do 32 ounces for the 13 inch mold and two almost 5 inch coaster molds and I'll share how much I'm putting into each of those. We're not filling them all to the top. So 16 of B first which is the thinner part and then 16 ounces of A which is the thicker more like corn syrup it's just really 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 thick you have a timer on your phone or wherever hit start for six minutes and the key with mixing resin is back and forth around the sides you can do crazy eights but you don't have to mix fast so this is the speed I'm going to be mixing it the whole time for six minutes I also want to go over the safety. I, uh, I have a ceiling fan on low. My window is slightly open year round, so there's airflow. Uh, if you can wear glasses or safety eyewear or a, and or a mask or a full face mask, that is really the best way to go. You always want to err on the side of caution. It is a chemical reaction. There are tiny little micro bubbles that float up that can go into your eyes and nose and you get into your lungs and so forth and you just don't want that to happen. And always have gloves on. Anytime you're touching or working with resin until it's fully cured then it's totally fine. I'll be back in the end of six minutes. Alright, now we're going to go to stopwatch and hit start and timing is really important in this process. Wait till about 19 minutes before we really start doing everything but I want to go over everything that I'm using with you. These are about four and a half inch to five inch deep coasters from Amazon set of four. They hold about four and a half ounces or so of resin in each one. I'm only going to use about three ounces in each one today. This is a 13 inch silicone mold from Amazon as well. It holds at least 32 ounces but we're only going to use 26 ounces. We don't want it totally full. I am going to take it out and we're going to top coat it to put our knobs in for our tray. I'm not going to really fill it all the way to the top. It's a really good thickness at around a half an inch or so. It's very durable, very sturdy. Okay, this is 91% alcohol in my bottle. I have a 300 watt low temp heat tool from Counterculture. You can also get one on Amazon. This is an 1800 watt heat gun. I like to use these 32 ounce flexible measuring cups uh, just because when the resin cures in it you can pop it out. You can also clean it right after you finished using it when you're done with your project. You can clean it out really well multiple times with alcohol and it will get rid of all the residue before it you know, cures on you. Today we're going to use this little piggy submarine mica by Fluid Art Company. That'll be in our five ounce cup. Then in our three ounce cup we're going to mix probably two ounces or so of a white mixture and I'm just going to use a tiny 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 little bit of Armor Art epoxy pigment paste which is white. You can get it from Counterculture and you can also get it on Amazon. Same with the Cast and Craft. If you don't have this you can use Cast and Craft and it comes on Amazon and one drop if you're using it in place of this. I'm going to use about eight drops or so of pinata white alcohol ink and I might just put a little half spoon of angel wing mica powder from Counterculture which has a really pretty pearly gold to it. I'm going to maybe use a, it's a coral shimmer from Bray Reese. There's a mustard from Bray Reese which is a little deeper than the yellow. Uh, I've got Pinata Sunlight Yellow, which is a really vivid yellow alcohol ink. And then there's Butter by Bray Reese, and it's a shimmer alcohol ink as well. So have you some uh, baby wipes around for cleaning your silicone mat or clean up your hands. Baby wipes and alcohol work really, really well. And then Gold Leaf. So we're at six minutes, and I'm going to turn the video off and come back at around 18. Okay. We're going to jump in. It's, we're at 16 minutes right now. So just letting you know the, the timing so far. I didn't want to show you too. We are going to use some uh, crystal knobs that have gold bases that will be added towards the end of the video. 
Make sure to have some masking tape around or good tape to get any specks and anything that flies around in your studio. So it's 19 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and pour at least four ounces into my five ounce cup here. And then in the little cup, I'm going to put at least two ounces, two to two and a half. Baby wipes are so good for just cleaning up really quickly. Okay, so let's go ahead and mix the white, which I do want a little bit of angel wing. I'm going to go ahead and put it in first just while I have my spoon out. So I've got just a little bit. I don't want a lot. I just want the hint of maybe a little sparkle. And then the submarine, we're going to do one two really healthy ones and let's just see real quick and this is why I have a paper towel in my mold because if your mica flies out and lands in your mold you're going to have that yellow in a spot that you may not want it that might change your design so I keep a paper towel on top if I'm mixing on top of my mold I keep something in between to protect my mold a little bit transparent. I'm going to put one more healthy scoop and that'll be it for that. You can kind of fold it in and that helps with it blowing around everywhere. Mica is super fine and it just floats around. So I'll stir it a little bit later on but that'll kind of go in right before we put the white into our resin that's ready to go. Okay so the Armor Art and the white alcohol ink. On the ink I'm going to use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 drops. And then on this stick it's cured resin. It looks white but it's cured. And I'm just going to dip my stick in and wipe off. So it's really just what's left from wiping it off. And that goes in. If you were, again, if you're using cast and craft, you would just put one drop. That's why we do our timer bit too, is just because between the timer and the way it feels when you're heating it and your temperature probe, you've got three different ways to kind of monitor when it's a good time to. Um, to do the magical part. Wipe that white off the end of your stick on the side of your cup and keep mixing it in. And there's just a hint of a golden shimmer, which is good. So these coasters, again, hold four to five ounces, and I'm only going to put about three ounces in. All right, 25 minutes. Don't heat your um, mold anywhere near the edges because it, it can uh, make your resin kind of stick to your mold and ruin your mold. So to try to stay away from the edges. You can kind of come in with your torch on low if you need to go ar around the edges. That'll pop some bubbles. Let's go ahead and put the, the gold leaf in. It's at 27 minutes. Just to grab some gold leaf because it flies around kind of so easily. And I just like a little bit. Less is more. I think I want to do... So this is coral shimmer. So anything that has a shimmer or uh, iridescence to it, that's an alcohol ink, you need to shake it up really well to make sure that it's... Um, mixed. That for now. Let's do the butter, which is another shimmer. You do less in the mold because it's more condensed. Okay, now here's the yellow. Thirty-one minutes. And now I want a, a little drop of brown in the middle. 
So I like some depth behind the gold leaf. And now we're just going to pull that brown out. Same here. We're at 32 minutes. Now I'm going to take the yellow. Well, it's the submarine, I think it's what it's called. And it's very warm in the cup. And we're going to start pouring right on the edge. We're at 34 minutes. But it's going to creep in, so that's okay too. Okay, so our white, one last stir. I'm going to do the spiral, and I'm doing it fairly close. The lines are fairly close to each other. want to um, kind of get this white here in the middle kind of mixed up a little bit so it's not a huge blob right there in the center. And I'm going to drag in to the center and wipe my stick each time. And then I'm just going to swirl these around in the center. And I'm just very lightly dragging my stick. I'm not touching the bottom of the mold or anything. I'm also going to move that yellow out just on the edges, not trying to catch the white part, but just the edges. Making sure that gold leaf is still in the middle and then a little swirl around and then I'm going to come out and then I like to go in on the edges and kind of cut that long line of white kind of taper it in so that is it. When you first put your alcohol inks down on the surface of your resin, or if you spray alcohol, if you use your torch, it does have the chance of flaming up. So just make sure your alcohol is kind of mixed in into the resin a bit before you use the torch on it. And don't get your flame too close to the surface of your resin. I will be back in about four to five hours. Okay, it's been Four, four and a half hours or so. We're going to see what these look like. Okay. The white got lost in the coasters. So, that's what it looks like with the white. And I think I'm going to put a white background on it. Okay, I'm going to mix this for six minutes. It's been six minutes and there's lots of bubbles, which always happens. And um, I'm going to add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten drops of white alcohol ink. I'm going to do white crystal to help the spoonfuls of that. See what that looks like. I'm going to move it off the Lazy Susan so that it doesn't fly around <clears throat> and land anywhere. So that's nice and shimmery. And I think um, that'll be enough on this mica. That is 
White Crystal by Etsy Funshine Color Shop. And I want to put one, two, three drops, four of Cast and Craft White Pigment, which is the other thing we could have used on this tray, just because I could squeeze it out of a bottle nice and fast. So here is, I use a silicone brush and I wanted to show you before I started on this, this is from yesterday and people ask how you clean your silicone brush, you just basically bend it and peel the cured resin right off. I'm just going to spritz this with alcohol once just to make sure I don't have any debris. And I'm going to do the coasters first. Just pour a couple of inches of a puddle. These are still a little flexible since they're not fully cured. And then you just, I just quickly, because you only have 10 minutes from the time you mix to really work with this. So I'm just quickly spreading and all the way to the edges. And it's thick enough to where it just kind of bounces back from the edge. It doesn't really try to go over. And there's a little bit of a ridge. And I think that's going to look pretty good. So that goes there. This is just going to be the background layer on the bottom side of the coasters and the tray. Again, just kind of a sweeping motion, which works really well with the geode shape. I'm just using a light touch. Okay. I'm going to pour a bunch of this, but I'm going to leave a little bit in my cup just in case I have too much and you don't want to go <clears throat> over the edge. And you basically can turn your turntable, which it makes it easier instead of just on a flat surface, is if you can turn that turntable, it makes it easier to spread it. And you just bring it from the middle outwards. And again, you're kind of doing that sweeping motion along the edges. Again, you're working quickly because this cures, starts getting really, really tacky pretty quickly. And I'll say 10 minutes is your kind of your top working time. You definitely want plastic under, this is on a wood turntable, but you want plastic so that it doesn't stick to whatever your surface might be. I just put this down on my silicone mat and let it cure and then it'll just pop right off. It still is flexible and then putting this facet on top, which is warm, kind of reactivates the resin a bit. So you definitely need it on a flat surface, not on anything smaller than the 13 inches. It's got to be at least the size or bigger so that it's fully supported flat. And I'll let this cure for a few hours and then we can turn it over and top coat it and put knobs on. So I'll be back. We put the layer of um, kind of the pearly shimmery white so that it gives it some pop from behind. Um, it just makes it more bright, makes that yellow more vivid. So I'm glad I just went with, it would be pretty with a, a dark background too, but I wanted this to be bright and cheerful for Easter. What I've done is I've taken the fast set, the blue label again, and I've mixed up about probably four, and a, four to four and a half ounces and do equal parts B and then A, B first and then A, and mix it up for six minutes. And this is a five ounce cup and it's about four to four and a half ounces. Just going to do like we did on the back. We're going to pour a little puddle on each coaster.
I've got a good coat on and I've got a little left in my cup just a tiny bit make sure I have no resin at all on my gloves so you want clean fingers when you're putting the knobs on and then I'm gonna go across from each other and get up and stand over it stand over it and make sure it's across from each other and then you're gonna push hard and you're gonna wiggle back and forth and spin wiggle and you want to do this until it kind of has no when you do it kind of fast it doesn't really go anywhere like this one is still very movable So you get it where it doesn't really want to move anymore and then you can also put down a little extra resin not touching the knob it's going to self level anyway and I'm just going to lay this down on my silicone mat and let it just cure the way it is which will be a couple of hours and it'll be cured and now I just need to uh, look for any specks, fur hair on the surface, make sure nothing landed in it. When you get around the knobs, I do short bursts. You really want to make sure the bubbles are gone in the center. That's where they're going to show up the most. Be back and show you pictures outside.